Hey howdy hey everybody and welcome back to Undertale part number two where the music is insanely loud in my headphones right now and I'm so glad that this is not a horror game. But let's continue on where we left off, we had just died and now I'm going to fast forward to that one place where we died and we're gonna jump back into it, alright? And jump cut. That was a jump cut of about two rooms and two fights, and now we are officially back to, I believe, where I died. So we just pushed the blue switch, and we're gonna go left and see where the hell this takes us. Okay, so the room has shifted again. Uh, let's, this controller just still is really, really weird in this game. If you can read this, press the red switch. All right, we're gonna press the red switch, but that's more of an orange switch. So do we actually push a red switch? A pair of vegetoids came out of the ground. We must attack them. And by attack, I mean act. Dinner, please. So I learned that what happens is these bastards, they give you health if you if they offer it up, but um, like see right there, I got the health. But the problem is, see now he's yellow, so if he's yellow, that means I can mercy one of them, and then now I just gotta kinda, ow, I'm gonna die again, aren't I? This battle system, I hate it. Dinner, please. All right, I'm gonna pat my stomach. Hopefully he'll give us at least one health, so we have half health, maybe? Eat your greens! Yes, please, you little son of a bitch! Alright, thank you for the greens. Okay, and dodge. I feel like the the the, the battle system has gotten tougher. Um <laughs> I'm being completely honest. Is this a red switch? It's a switch. Press it? Yes. Alright. Clicking sound, done. Let's leave here before we get attacked again. Uh we can't read it, so wait, we can read this sign. Aha! There's another sign, but there's another vegetoid battle. Oh god. I attacked on a mercy. On a, on a, I, I attacked on the wrong run. Okay, we're finally back. I just pushed the red switch. I did not mean to press fight. The thing is, I have a habit of pressing enter to sort of move text along, and enter immediately goes to fight. And I tried to back out of it, and it didn't work out very well. And then I ended up fighting the freaking thing. So I this is this is a pacifist run. Therefore, I have to not fight or kill anything. I don't know if I can accidentally fight someone and lower their health or if I have to entirely not do a damn thing but we got to see what the hell this sign says I don't think we read it yet it says if you can read this press the green switch uh, there's a switch we push it yes I got really lucky I just assumed that that was the green one and I feel like if I do zigzags I run into less of these people can I mercy? Yes, I'm gonna mercy him. You're gonna you're gonna dance, and because that's good. So whenever the bunny's alone, he's just gonna he's gonna do the little wave jiggle. He's gonna do the jiggle wave, and then I don't even have to do anything. I don't know why I keep doing that. And also in these damn games, do not freaking press escape. If you press escape, you are screwed because the game just exits itself. All right, now I don't know what that was. There's a big old cross here. Let's go up. Uh, is there a map? I'm supposed to, there's dead. There, whoa! Oh! Oh dear! That took longer than I thought it would. Wait. I thought you told me to stay put. Why'd you come here? How did you get here? My child, are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have let you left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. All right, I will follow you, my dear. Hot mama, I'm gonna save though, because I do not want to do that over again. That is, that is the third time I think I ran through those rooms file saved moving on going on doing great things do you smell that did you fart surprise I farted it's a butterscotch cinnamon pie I thought we might celebrate your arrival I want to have a nice time living here so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight here I have another surprise for you it's a gun I'm gonna go left Ooh, this is a nice fancy place very ritzy seems like the right size for Toriel Oh, the fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Uh, let's not do- oh wait, there was another room. Wait, maybe I should just follow her. I'm gonna follow her and try and move this story along because I hear it's actually a really long game. Me dilly-dallying is just gonna take forever. This is it. Aw, grab my hand. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aw, yes, yeah, pet my head. I don't trust you all of a sudden. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Did she set the damn house on fire? Aw, look how nice you're dead. We got the bed. Oh, look, I'm sleeping. I'm gonna wake up in a burning fire, aren't I? Oh, it's nighttime. What is this? You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Yum, 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 yum. Can I eat it? Wait, what does it do? Butterscotch pie. All HP butterscotch cinnamon pie. One slice. Okay, cool. So it's a full heal, basically. What is that, my health at? I have 20 out of 20. I think she... Oh, is it sleeping heal me? That's fantastic. Can I change my outfit? 
Can I change my, no, no, I don't wanna do that. Can I change my outfit? No, I cannot. Moving on. Uh, should we check out this room? Ooh, what's in here? Is it her diary? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Hell yeah! You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Well, that's fantastic. Can I sleep in this bed? Definitely bigger than the twin size bed. That's good. I mean, she is a much larger person than you are. What is this room labeled? Labeled room under renovations. Is that for the next? Oh, wow. It's the mirror scared the crap out of me. It's you! <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. Toriel? Toriel? Oh, look, you're just reading, huh? It's up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show my favorite bug hunting sport. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? Um, when can I go home? What? This is your home now. Would you like to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Yeah, that's very interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. All right, I want to get out of here. I want to go home and see my mother. I want to see my mother. My, my, oh, more pie. It, the size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it. Well, I don't plan on eating it. You got it. Can I, can I see if I can, how do I exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Is she gonna, oh, she's gonna become evil because I want to go home, isn't she? I'm gonna, wait, she told me to stay there. I'm disobeying her entirely. Can I go down the stairs? Yes, I can. Oh. Oh, it's dark and scary down here. You wish to know how to return home, you do not, uh, do you not? Ahead lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go up No, Toriel, come back. Please. I will, I will kill you. Don't do it. Even every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Come back, lady. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Now I'm faced with the dilemma. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Quick decision. You want to leave so badly? Hmph. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I'm gonna fight this woman. All right, Toriel blocks the way. I must act. Toriel, I'm gonna talk you. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh my god! What the hell were those? Toriel is acting aloof. Toriel, let's talk again. You try to think of something to say again, but... Alas, oh my mother-loving god, Toriel. Oh my god. Oh, okay, oh, we're good. Toriel, please, talk to me. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation, but I'm pacifist. I'm pacifist. Please, Toriel, can't we just be friends? Toriel. Talk to me, ironically, talking- do you Really? This, this isn't gonna help me at all. Alright. Wait, I guess there's no pacifist here. Oh god. Oh no, I'm about to die, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. Toriel, please! I'm gonna check on you. Attack 80, defense 80. Knows best for you. Oh great, that told me nothing except how to die really, really quickly. Talk. Come on, talk to me, bae. I don't want this to be like this. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, she's not attacking me. This is fantastic. Come on, honey buns. She doesn't want to attack me. Or maybe she does. She's not- she's choosing not to kill me for some reason. Come on. I want to talk to you, bae. Look, they're all running away from me. All the little- She's not- she doesn't want to kill me. Mercy. Spare. She's like, what? Spare? You cannot spare me. I am Toriel, the queen of queens. She's acting aloof. I'm gonna spare. No. Maybe I can- maybe I can flee. It's not gonna let me die. I- it wants me to strike her down and- and finish becoming a Sith. Good, I escaped. That is right. Go upstairs. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Well, another fight, apparently. Toriel. No, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> She's not gonna kill me. Maybe I let her kill me. Oh, it's impossible for her to kill me. Kill me! Kill me! Kill me, Toriel! <laughs> Stop running away from me! You bitch! I want to go home! I go upstairs and go to your fine. I'll go to my freaking room! God, Ma! Sometimes... Sometimes you just don't get me. 
You don't understand what I want to be in this life, okay? There are things beyond your comprehension. You freaking goat mother. Are you a ram? Are you gonna ram it up my butt if I don't listen to you? I gotta go to my room. Ugh. All right, I'm in my room. Let's heal. I think this heals me, so we're gonna do it. Maybe she'll give me the caps, please. What the hell was that? Wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Okay, did that heal me though? I'm really curious. Oh, it sleeping does heal me. Awesome. Well, if I'm the future of hum humans and monsters, uh, maybe Tori. Okay, I guess I gotta destroy the Sith Lord here in in Hyrule before we can warp jump back to, you know, the hyper sleep. I'm just saying words at this point. All right, we save. All right, let's go on because I don't want to wait for Toriel. I need to adventure on my own and hopefully nothing kills me. What's up, Ribbit? How's it hanging? Ribbit, Ribbit, ri just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little, a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We were all too intimidated to hear her, Ribbit, or to talk to her. Why are you guys intimidated by her? Oh, what is this? A s oh, what is this, a knife? What is it? You found the toy knife. Yay, I have a toy knife. What's with a giant city? This is an underground city of awesome. Uh, where do I go? I'm going to assume that there has to be a way out of here. Is there a hole? No? Am I missing something? Because there's no way out of here. It's like, it's a full blockade. I can't get to the city. All right, well, I guess we're going to go backwards. Toriel. I'm going to threaten you with a toy knife. Toriel. Here's Johnny. Toriel, are you over here? No, you're not over here. Toriel, where are ya? I just wanna, I wanna talk to you, Toriel. I wanna give you a big hug. A big freaking hug. Let's see, item. Toy knife. Toy knife, weapon attack three made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. All right, well, it's not gonna unlock that door now, is it? I've come for you, Toriel. Already? Yes, let us fight. Who cares about a pacifist run? I'm just gonna destroy you with my toy knife. Boom, slice down the middle, 20 attack. What are you gonna do? Bitch, oh God, I didn't realize that the fire comes after me too. What are you gonna do, come on. I wanna go free. Ugh. Yeah, critical hit, 23 damage. Oh great, more fire. There we go, there we go, there we go. Look at them dodges, those sweet dodges, Toriel. What are you gonna do, huh? I got a toy knife. Yeah, that's right. That's right, you dumb bitch. That was a horrible attack, it did 11 though. Uh, uh, ooh, okay, uh-huh, there we go. Sweet baby monkey Jesus. Toriel propels a magical attack. Well, eat this one, Toriel. 22, critical hit. What are you gonna do, are you gonna kill me? Are you gonna strike me down? No, you're just gonna stand there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. She doesn't, she's not gonna attack me. She's not gonna kill me. If I don't, wait, I was wrong. But I can do more damage than her. I thought she only had 80 health. Oh, but she has an 80 defense as well. If I don't move on this one, I'm usually fine. Oh no, I got hit. I got bipped. Come on, Toriel. 24. Let's get you down to half health. Uh, three damage? Okay. Now let's see if she'll stop attacking me because she doesn't want me to die. Yep, she's gonna stop attacking me. She's gonna let me kill her. This is sad. I'm gonna kill her and she's not gonna do anything about it. This is really sad. Come on. Try and kill me. Do it. Do it, Toriel. Strike me down and become what you've always knew you were. A murdering psychopath. 56 damage. Damn, I'm good. Do it, Toriel. Don't make me do this. Don't make me hurt you anymore. I loved you like a mother. We could have been lovers. We could have, we could have... Oh, 330? Ugh. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Dot, dot, dot. Be good. Won't you? My child. Oh! <gasps> I don't like that at all.
I don't like that at all. I'm not happy with that. There has to be another way to do that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna die, accept my fate, and then I'm going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that. I, can, I don't want to kill her. There has to be another way around this. There just, there just has to be. There has to be another way around this. He 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 he! I'm the flowey the flower. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it, he 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 he! She couldn't even save herself. What an idiot! <laughs> Bring it on, Flowey the Flower, or are you Asgore? Please don't tell me you're a giant beast. Is this Asgore? Wait, did I win? I think I won. I beat the game. Yay, I'm amazing! Undertale! Wait, did I, did I really win? Oh! No, it continues. Wait, I'm confused. Should I have not have done- Is this the only way to continue the game? Now I'm really confused. This is news to me. Well, I don't like that stick. I'm gonna avoid that stick. Wait, can I pick the stick up? Wait. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick. Great. Okay, that's fantastic. I wasted my time. I heard something in the middle, by the background. Oh man, I wanted to stay with that woman. Toriel, come back. I didn't mean to strike you down in blind fury. Something's coming after me. I heard it. it made a noise. Oh, this is a long path. Is this gonna fall? Who are you? My, what big eyes you have! For a shadowy figure that's sneaking upon me. Human! Human! Don't you know you how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand! I'm not gonna do that. Well, my character automatically did that, so I had no choice in the damn matter. Alright. Oh, it's Mr. Skellybones, and he just farted. The old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papy uh, P Papyrus. Oh, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. You go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Yeah, there we go. We went right through. That's fantastic. Quick, behind that uh, conveniently shaped lamp. Oh, hide behind the conveniently shaped lamp. Wow, that actually is really conveniently shaped. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't re recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang outside your station. What are you even doing? I'm staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. If whatever human comes through here, I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done lately. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans, come on. You're smiling. I am and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're a real working, you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> Ugh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come out now. All right, I'm out. Now what? You, you ought to get going. He might come back. Uh, and if he does, uh, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What are these? Are these snowballs? So, I honestly don't know if it's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. It must be a hot dog set. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Uh, thanks a million. I I'll be up ahead. Okay, good. This is a save point, but the thing is... 
Convenience of the lamp still fills you with determination. See, I don't want to save over that because I don't want to redo that. I honestly have no idea if what I did was correct. I'm going for the the uh, the pacifist run, and I didn't want to strike down Toriel. If there is something that I was supposed to do that involved not striking her down, please, for the love of God, tell me in the comments because. I do not want to save. I'm gonna I'm gonna play that part over because I saved right before the fight. So, if what I was supposed to do was not strike her down and not leave that area, for the love of God, tell me, tell me if I was supposed to stay there. Because if that's the case, I'm gonna go back. This is in fact a pacifist run. This is not a genocide run. I did not want to kill her. I didn't think that it was immediately gonna be 300 damage dead and then I saw her heart break and my heart broke. So please post in the comments below if I'm doing this right. If I'm not, I'm going to start back at that previous save and we're going to do that over. Just tell me the direction I need to go and we'll go from there. But until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing if you have, and as always, keep calm and key on, and I will see you in the next video. Look at this, look at the cobwebs. What is, ah, this place is dirty, there's cobwebs. I'm assuming this is phone guy's stuff. He's just, a, he's a slob, there's cobwebs down here. And we got one, two, three, four, four monitors and a CB radio. Is there even a phone on the table? I don't think there's a phone on the table. 1 a.m. We've already survived an hour. First night is nothing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's a really nice place. Are the cobweb over there? They're